Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I would like to apologize for my lack of nail polish, but I don't really care right now. I'll probably care later when I look back at this and think, why did I do that? But I did. So this video is going to be a uh, word, my word of the year, basically. So for 2019, my word of the year was health, like getting healthy. and that was the year I really focused on like seeing my therapist and or starting to see a therapist and um, giving myself permission to tell people basically practicing with the people I'm closest to to say like I hear you I want to listen but I need time to process what you're saying or I have to stop what I'm doing to reorient myself so that I can move forward in this conversation or at this event or whatever it is. So I think I made pretty good like strides doing so. So this year my goal is to not just continue with that but also to be consistent with those things that I've accomplished and um, I have it in here um, I decided to just rip the page out because it was faster that way. Um, so my goal for 2020, whoops, if you can see it, uh, my 2020 plans, consistency. Uh, maybe later I'll find like a pretty script sticker to put on top, but for right now this is what you get or what I've got. And here in the middle I can put like more goals that I have or anything else that I want to be consistent with. Um, like I do want to be consistent with like my... Uh, like going to the gym and eating healthy. So uh, maybe here in the middle I can put like my fitness goals, any like non-scale victories, and uh, any uh, food goals that I may have. So here at the bottom I've written out some smaller goals that I have or larger goals based on how you look at them. Um, so here I have complete one sticker book. Um, in this case, it's the budget sticker book for the Happy Planner. And uh, the next one is to use 20 rolls of washi. The third one is to donate or sell half of my clothing and to keep about 10 items of each thing. Um, so that could be like 10 plain t-shirts uh, colors, uh, 10 graphic t-shirts, 10 pairs of shorts, 10 jeans. Just not so much in terms of like like a 333 kind of roll or whatever those, a capsule wardrobe, not like that, but just uh, keeping a smaller quantity of things. Like I don't need 30 t-shirts when I'm trying to wear more blouses, for example, or I don't need um, 16 pairs of jeans or even six pairs of jeans when I like to wear dresses. I should maybe have more dresses than I do jeans. So just little things like that. Um, and then also just to keep mindful for myself, if I have 10 pairs of shoes, let's say, if I get that 11th pair, where am I going to put it? I don't even have space right now for 10 pairs of shoes. So where am I going to put this 11th pair of shoes that I don't have space to begin with for. So just little things like that that I want to try and like keep consistent with and uh, remember like if I'm going to get something either something else has to go in its place or I just shouldn't get it at all and maybe take a picture of it to remind myself how much I you know love to look at this item of clothing or something. So the next item here is to Payoff of total of five thousand dollars worth of debt. Um, I'm going to keep track of like still with my finance videos of all of the things that I'm spending, and um, I can probably come back and just update like I've paid a hundred dollars, I've paid a thousand dollars, I've paid two thousand dollars, and go from there to see my total debt goals basically. But my goal is this year is to spend, not to spend, but to pay off five thousand dollars worth of debt. My next goal is to donate and use 100% of my craft supplies. And even if I don't like completely finish 100%, I want to have a purpose for that percentage that I didn't finish. So if I have like 
paper cutouts. Uh, maybe I'm not using them in January, not January, maybe I'm not using them in December, but I know that Inkorimo is coming up in February and I've got those paper cutouts separated for February when I write letters to my friends and then I can like count that towards my used products. My last one is to finish and go through half of my makeup. I have a lot of makeup that is either unused or half used or almost empty and why am I holding on to it? I should just finish it. Like I love the color or maybe it's been discontinued but there's no reason to keep keeping it. I should just finish it and then it's done and then I don't have to uh, keep holding on to it and then it taking the space of something else. Um, I recently cleared out a lot of space in my uh, section of the bedroom where I just had a ton of stuff everywhere and in back boxes and bags and um, things inside boxes and bags and it was just a lot of, of things everywhere and now that I've cleared it when I walk into the room I have all this empty space and it just feels uh, very freeing in a way like I don't have to refill it but if I do I should be mindful of the things I'm filling that space with. So that's here and then on the back I figure uh, I'll write like any little notes for myself. So like here I have 84 rolls of washi and I should be able to finish 20 rolls by 2020 December. So uh, let me know if you have any like words of the years that you also like to work on um, or if there if you've tried it in the past or if you've done like a phrase um, I, I think it's really fun to hear what other people have to say when they've chosen a word and where that reasoning for them has come from and I would love to learn what yours are so yeah uh, and I will see you I will probably try and update um, this like playlist, I guess is where I'll put it, in uh, maybe like once a month or every quarter or something like that just to like keep myself accountable with where I'm at and um, how I'm doing with my 2020 plans and goals. Bye.